Hi everyone, this is Bibi Lolita, Cigar Saint Sister, and Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year to you. That's right, we got like fireworks. Everyone is going off. So I wanted to come in and share the love with you on this celebratory evening. We made it! Happy New Year, everyone! So I have my red on. I got my cocktail maker's mark and these two cigars. Now both of them are maker's mark, but one is a rarity right now. So, which one am I going to smoke? Not sure, but you're welcome to come on and smoke with me. Let's go, and Happy New Year! Okay, everyone, so here's the difference. This is a Maker's Mark cigar, but it has on the band Ted's. See that? Okay, check it out. There's no Ted's on this one. So this is what you would call the original Maker's Mark without the band that says Ted's. There's no Ted's anywhere around this. And I've had this longer, so I would put this one in the vintage. But both are smokable. But I'm going to say the rarity, and I'm going to smoke the one that has Ted's. So, Happy New Year, everyone. Let's get to smoking some Maker's Mark. Happy New Year, everyone. This is Bibi Lolita, and you're at Cigar State Sister Live. It is such a, a moment in time, always, for the new year. Now, as always, I like to introduce the cigar here for the smoking session. This is the Maker's Mark. I am brand ambassador of Maker's Mark, but I'm going to smoke the one that has Ted's on it, okay? I have two Maker's Mark that I pulled out just to show the difference. This one just says 562. No Ted's on the band at all. This one, it clearly says Ted's. So, this is a newer one. And I also want to shout out Maker's Mark too because I have a barrel that's been aging now for over two years, going on three, and uh, it takes about five years for the barrel to be completed and I can't wait to dip that bottle into that red cast which I'm taking off this red wax cast and just get me several bottles of my barrel of Maker's Mark. It's such a great bourbon whiskey to drink with. It's a great bourbon whiskey to cook with and I love it. So that's all you do is just take that little piece around from there and you get to keep the glass bottle. So this is really great to keep. It shows how many Maker's Marks that you have smoked. And if you haven't, this is such a great cigar. Not because I'm brand ambassador, it is just a great cigar right up there with the bourbon whiskey. So, what's the price point, baby? And see, that's the cap that's taken off and then you just keep it like you would do your wrappers of your cigars and immediately immediately it has a little sponge it comes in that glass tube and it just comes out immediately I smell that whiskey now another thing that you can also do with the Maker's Mark cigar is if you have some tobacco and you smoke pipe, you can fill it with that. Or you can, you can fill it with flowers for like an art project or anything like that. So I just keep it. And I just love it. So that whiff, you get immediately of the Maker's Mark. And let me show you something else here. I also have my cocktail. Already with cherry, cranberry juice, some margarita mix, and the beautiful Maker's Mark. Bourbon whiskey. Mm -hmm. This is a torpedo. I'm so excited to get this one going. Mm, you could just smell that bourbon whiskey on it. So it's a lovely pair up with the alcohol. And I'm going to just snip off a piece. 
And again, Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year to you and yours. So you've seen me toast up the cigars. So I'm going to toast this up very carefully, very slowly, and then I'll be back to groove for the smoking session. So are you ready? Come on back. One moment. <laughs> okay, so I'm back, and I'm just going to finish off the torch on this one. It is lovely. The first few moments of toasting the cigar. I love it. <laughs> I'm such a fan of the Maker's Mark. And I have my holiday crystal tree right here that is so cool. So let's relax. Let's chill out. And um, just be in that thankful moment. I hope that you all had a great New Year's. When I load this up. It's going to already be New Year's. And so I just hope that you got to your destination safe. And then you got back in safe and just enjoying the holidays. And those who have to work, hey, light it up. And light with me right here for the New Year, everyone. Right here at Cigar Sense and Star. Mm-hmm. Carefully crafted. I love this cigar. Price point. I would say right at $12. So. Very tasty. Very smoky. A nice pepper. That comes right at you. But. If you love that full body, full flavored cigar, then you know, this one's for you. This one's for us. Happy New Year! The draw on this is very nice. Not too open, but just right. You know, some cigars can be way open. But this one is just very nice. And the color on this is just absolutely beautiful. So, I'm donning my socks. <laughs> okay? And they're just so super cute. And I love them. So, thanks, Maker's Mark, for that. By the time you get this, I'll be in the cold. Okay? <laughs> Where you gonna be at, BB? something my nose I'll be in Aspen and then from there I'll be in Vail I love going around this time of the year it's just uh wonderful beautiful I love the snow I want a snowy snowy I'm a winter baby <laughs> burning very even it's a beautiful ash on it and I'm feeling really, really good. I got my uh, holiday straw. <laughs> Can I give you a little bit of Veronica Lake? <laughs> if you know what I mean, the actress. She was known for the side swoop, you know, of the hair. Mm. Mm. Just a delicious cigar. Oh my gosh, delicious. So I wanna thank the Tata Squad so much for the love. All new subscribers, welcome to this channel and the second official YouTube channel, Cigar Saints Sister Live. It's gonna be some live events as well. I did a ride along filming, so make sure you come back for that. I have another smoking session over there too, and some Good vibes. Mm -hmm. So for New Year's, it's tradition for a lot of people to get greens, which means so prosperity of money can flow, you know, and wealth. And I opted for mustard greens instead of collard greens. I had collard greens 
for Thanksgiving. So I was just like, let me get the mustard greens. And then I got the Hoppin' John's. Okay, I spruced up, spiced up those black eyed peas. But the black eyed peas, for a lot of people, they represent luck. And then there are some other great traditions that people incorporate into the new year. Like one, for example, which is an old wives' tale. Let me tell you about that. Mmm. <laughs> She's smoking lovely. Mmm. Leaves such a beautiful aroma on the lips. So if you don't drink or you desire not to drink, hey, you're going to get to where you need to be just smoking this alone. Oh, wives' tail. Let me tell you about that. The first person that should come through your door for good luck for the rest of the year should be a man. No need to say sexist, but that is an old wives tale. You can look it up. And so a lot of people, if you have a husband or a significant other, a brother, uncle, anyone like that, you let that be the first person that crosses the threshold into your home, which brings you good luck. <laughs> So I just love chilling, got the fireplace going. Aspen, for a lot of people who have been to Aspen, is just a beautiful time of the year. A lot of people hit Aspen and Vail around December, Christmas time, and then going into the new year. Great for skiing, great for relaxing, great cabins, just a chilled atmosphere. And so I'm very excited. This is such a lovely cigar. Look at that ash. I brought the uh, filming a little closer to me so I could just get that full experience and just see how beautiful this is. It's well placed in your humidor to that age and also it's just great to smoke them to rotate them out. I slow toasted it. Beautiful. <laughs> Produces great smoke and gives you a great relaxation right into the first third. Like you start feeling it. Another sip. And that margarita mix and that cherry cranberry by Ocean Spray mixed in with a nice dash. Yeah, a good dash, I should say. A Banker's Mark. Ooh, bourbon whiskey. Mix it together. It's great. And then if you have some cherries, you can whew, throw them in there and top it off. I'm a deactivated bartender, so, you know, show my skills. Now this cigar has two bands, as you can see. So what I'm gonna do, cause it's moving along pretty good. You don't want the heat to get too, too heated with your wrappers. You wanna start unloosening them, in my opinion. That way they won't like stick. And then you'll just be like, oh my God, what's happening? So they're easy to remove. So I'm gonna remove the top. Very easy to move, it slides really good. And then I'm just gonna put that into my collection and then the other one just comes up just easy too so that's one two and they're gone and then you have the beauty of the stick in its full glory look at that look at that it's beautiful Another thing that people do, they shoot the fireworks, we have a lot of fireworks that will be going on at the strike of midnight for the new year 2019 and also even before that. So some people have beautiful firework displays, different places, and then some people go out and shoot their guns, boom, shoot their rifles, boom, to 
say goodbye to the 2018 and hello to the 2019. We're also blessed to be here, so I'm just so thankful, you know. Because a lot of people, you know, they moved on in 2018, and those of us who are here just, you know, rock it out. This has really beautiful veins. They're not easily, easily seen on camera, but the way that it's rolled and constructed is just absolutely beautiful. And I love that white ash that takes over more than just the gray. Mm. Beautiful. I like to sip whatever I'm drinking on and just let the star of the experience of smoking session be the cigar. So now let's see exactly how the ash hangs on this. Pillowy, it will fall. I'm tapping real slow and the encasement is coming off and it leaves me with a nice red point. It's always a different smoking experience outside, so if you have a stuck in the fireplace or you just want to be outside in the cold and enjoy your cigar and warm up with a nice coffee or hot tea or, you know, pour your Maker's Mark in that, uh, it's good with that too. It mixes well with so many things. It is a new year, so a lot of new things will be coming for this channel. I will be having the Patreon open up in the spring, where I will do private, silent smoking sessions. And, you know, I have it where you're just kind of like burlesque, dressed up. So, more information on that will be coming. With the Patreon, you can chat with me, and it's a more up close and personal experience, and a visual experience, and um, I hope that you come on over to Patreon as well. Beautiful earthy notes, a nice pine, you can taste that bourbon whiskey in there. The pepper has eased off. Just a little bit of an uneven burn, but that could be because of the fans going, ceiling fans. But there's no need to correct this right now. Not for me. That's an oldie but giddy jam right there, right? So tasty. Absolutely. Divide. Now 
Now, this is what you see. It's kind of like canoeing a little bit. So what I'm going to do is touch it up at this point. Leaving the first third, going into the second third, this torpedo is such a beautiful smoke. So if you enjoy this, come on back for the next part of the smoking session on BB Cigar Life, San Francisco.